yourself who you really are. Everything doesn't mean you know everything. Tell me. Hi everyone and welcome to my review of Jason Bourne, the latest movie in the Bourne series. This movie brings back star Matt Damon to reunite him with Tommy Lee Jones uh, playing CIA director Robert Dewey and Julia Stiles playing Nikki Parsons. It's really great to see Matt Damon playing the lead role again. Don't get me wrong, The Bourne Legacy was okay, but it wasn't great, and Jeremy Renner just wasn't as interesting playing the lead role as Matt Damon is while playing Jason Bourne. Now back to Jason Bourne. Uh, the movie uh, has also brought back Paul Greengrass, who also directed Jason Bourne Supremacy and The Ultimatum. Now, how does the movie hold up? Uh, to be honest, the movie was okay, but uh, let's see, how do I say this? It, it isn't what I really expect uh, in the Bourne series. There was the usual high intensity fight scenes, lots of action, uh, car chases, uh, a beautiful new co-star. So what was not to like? Well, without giving away any spoilers, Jason Bourne is brought back into the story because he's trying to find out some information about his family. Great. Uh, bring on the Jason Bourne movie that we all wanted to see. Well, what really bothered me about the movie was that the script seemed to lose focus on what the movie was really about. It kept taking us to this subplot, which is basically revolved around social media privacy, which is which really had very little to do with uh, anything, if, if anything at all, to do with the plot. They could have just removed everything uh, that had to do with the subplot and the movie would have been a lot better. In fact, I can't really think of of what reason uh, this subplot was in the movie except uh, for one, possibly one scene at the end. Um, it seems like it was a complete waste of time when they could have used this extra time in the movie to further develop the, J the Jason Bourne story. What did I enjoy about the movie? Well, I really loved seeing Matt Damon back as the lead role. However, even with him, something something just seemed a little off. Um, it was almost like he was just kind of going through the motions and he didn't really, I don't know, he just didn't really seem to be into it. I don't know how else to explain it, but it just didn't give you didn't give you that intensity when you looked at him in the movie. You know how you, you saw him in other movies, in other Bourne movies, where he was just this intense guy and he was it was just go, go, go? It just didn't seem to bring that here. It was like he was trying to do that, but he just didn't really seem to be interested in it. I, I don't know how else to explain it. Then, of course, we have Tommy Lee Jones, and Tommy Lee Jones was, of course, playing Tommy Lee Jones-type characters. Uh, I think this character in this movie is actually named Tommy Lee, jo Lee Jones. I'm just kidding. He plays the same, virtually the same character in just about every movie that he's ever done, um, but in this type of a movie it actually works. So Tommy Lee Jones is playing Tommy Lee Jones or Tommy Lee Jones is playing Tommy Lee Jones as, as Tommy Lee Jones. I now new into the movie is uh, Alicia Vikander. She's the beautiful new co-star that plays a character named Heather Lee, uh, a new CIA team member who is helping track down Jason Bourne. She actually does a really good job in this movie, so uh, if there's further installments in this movie, I'd look for her to be uh, back as well. And of course we have Vincent Castle who plays the very convincing you know, bad guy character called Asset. And Asset's a relatively new character to the series, and uh, he really kind of gets thrown into the is to one of the main characters. He does a very con convincing job as a badass bad guy uh, that's playing opposite of Matt Damon. So I, I really enjoyed his character in this movie. But overall, the movie just didn't have the same grasp on me as the first three uh, in the series did. But the first three movies, it just it just kind of grasped you, and and you were right into the movie and it was really intense and it was really good this one just didn't just didn't do that for me it was it was really kind of disappointing that way i don't think i i built it up to be anything more than i was expecting it to be i just i mean like when you when i watched born ultimatum or born supremacy i i went into it thinking this is going to be an awesome movie it was an awesome movie i was really glad i saw it this movie i went into it hoping okay good jason or uh um, Matt Damon's back as Jason Bourne. It's, this movie's going to be awesome again. And I built it up a little bit, and then it was like, oh, that was kind of kind of disappointing. Don't get me wrong. Um, the action scenes were really good. Uh, there were some really good fight scenes. Something just did not grasp me. And 
I don't know what it was. And the friend of mine that I went and saw the movie with, he was he basically said the same thing. He was like, that just didn't grab me like the other movies did, where I was just right into it. And you, every it seemed it seemed like every thirty seconds in the previous movies, you were like, oh my god, what's happening next? This movie, I I just kind of was like, ugh. And it was probably about three quarters of the way through the movie, uh, and I just sat there and I was like. This is not living up to the first three uh, in the series. I was a little disappointed. Um, now, I wouldn't uh, pay to see it a second time. Um, it's probably worth seeing in the theaters, if, if for nothing else, for, just for the action scenes. The action scenes are really good. Um, it's kind of hard for them to screw that up. Screw that up. They've got lots of really good chase scenes in it, uh, car chase, motorcycle, motorcycle chase scenes. So for that sort of thing, if that's what you're wanting to go for, then definitely go see this movie. It's it's good for that sort of thing. But I, um, if you're just wanting an all-out action movie, then fine. Go see go see Jason Bourne. Go see Jason Bourne if you're a fan of the of the series. Like it's still a good movie. It's not a Jason Bourne, you know, or the you know, it's not. It doesn't live up to the standards that we've had with the Bourne uh, Ultimatum, Supremacy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, um, on a scale of one to ten, I'd probably give it. I, I almost feel like seven is too low and and eight is too high. Well. I guess I give it a seven and a half. Um, you know, go see it because it's, it's Jason Bourne. It's it's kind of like uh, Star Wars. If you're a fan of Star Wars, or uh, you know, you're gonna go see any Star Wars movie that comes out, um, even if you've heard that it sucks. So, go see it if you're a fan of the Bourne series. Um, just be prepared that you're probably not gonna be wowed out of your seat like you, you were with the first three episodes. And hopefully, maybe you'll not think so highly of it as I did and you'll actually maybe get more enjoyment out of it. But I'll give it a 7.5 out of 10. Anyways, thanks for watching my uh, review here. I plan on doing more reviews as I do watch more and more movies. I enjoy this type of thing. So um, if you enjoyed the video, if it was informative, please hit the like button, subscribe if you'd like. And if you have any other comments, please.